Murphy here and welcome back to the latest Warhammer news video. One topic today and that is the Bandai Space Marine action figure. Five days and it's sold out. It's kind of unbelievable how quick this sold out. It's very limited to 9,000 which isn't a lot but as I said I think this is more of a, a tester thing. Let's put this out. Let's see how well it does. I really didn't think it was going to sell out this quick. The end day for pre-orders were in, the, in November, so that would have been like the end of November. We're easily a month ahead of schedule by the sounds of it. So, it's sold out, you can't get it anymore. It's even hard to find on the Warhammer website anymore. You can't find any pictures of it anywhere. You have to type in Bandai Space Marine and it will come up and it will say unavailable online anymore. So. What does this mean? It's sold out really quick. It looks like it's been successful. The only problem that I've kind of seen that people have had with it is the waiting time. That 270 days I think it was, that's a very long time. If this had been available I think around January time it would have been a lot better. But as I said this is the first time, first time they've done something with Bandai like this. So they're kind of testing the waters I think and they want to see how well this does but I think this has been a big success so far now we haven't seen the end product but the way it's going it seems to be a very big success and what can this mean in the future what can come out of this so straight away off the top of my head is there's going to be more most likely I think there will since it's been sold out so quick if everything at the other end comes out the action figures come out and they look really well and all that I can't see why not, why shouldn't they bring out another thing? But what are they going to bring out? Do you think they're going to bring out another Space Marine? Probably, I could probably see like a Captain model, a model with a power sword. What I think they're going to do and what they probably should do is bring out uh, an opposing force to the Space Marine. Like, I don't think they'll do a Chaos Marine, I think they'll do a Deck Guard Marine, which I think might be the right way to go because over the last few years, it's, it's always been like Space Marines and Chaos Marines, one on one with each other as well as other armies. But Deck Guard have seen to become like really popular and they've had some amazing models over the last few years. So could you imagine a Plague Marine model as an action figure? The detail would be amazing. I'd, I'd love to see that. I'd be more excited about getting a Deck Guard model instead of a Space Marine Intercessor model. The other thing I thought about was when Games Workshop did the license deal with the Funko Pop things, those little action figures with like the big heads, they came out and they looked really nice. I think there was four of them. You had the Dark Angels, uh, the Ultramarine, Space Wolves, and I think the other one was a Black Templar, I think, I'm not too sure. But they looked really nice, and by the looks of it, they did really well. A lot of people bought them, and they eventually brought out a plain Funko Pop Space Marine. There was no paint on it, it was like a DIY one, you paint it yourself. I now thinking of it, that would be I think a bit of a step too far. Maybe not. I'm not too sure because I'm trying to think on the Bandai end. They want to release high-end action figure collectibles. So would it be their type of thing to release one where you get to paint it yourself? I'm not too sure now that I think about it. Just completely off the top of my head now. I'm after countering my own argument here. But it would be amazing if they brought out a Space Marine action figure that's not painted it's just primed and you get to paint it yourself that seemed like a what that seemed what might happen but i'm not sure if bandai would go for it on their end i think they should um you probably just reduce the price a little bit and off you go i don't think that would happen though either but a plain space marine action figure that would be cool you get to paint it in your own colors whatever you want your space marine color um space what was space marine color space wolves dead end dead dark angels and um, it would be really cool and then even further again if they do release a different space ring model will it come with interchangeable parts like different arms if you have a hand with a hand grenade in it a plain hand just open like this or something like that maybe an alternate arm with a power sword that would be a really cool option to see i think it all depends on bandai's end for that i think games workshop might have a bit more pull when this wants to show like hey this sold out in like five days let's do something different so it could happen but anyway let me know what you guys think about this it's sold out in five days i said a couple of times this video but i think that's that's amazing that's that's an incredible job so only good things can really come out of this if the action figure comes out and it's really good that all depends on uh, this all this depends on how the model or i keep calling it a model how the action figure looks and feels once it comes out if it's done really well then definitely they're going to do some other things down the line. I don't think they're going to do like a big huge collection. 
but maybe something like an alternate army, you know, like the Deck Guard or something like that. That's what I'd like to see. I love that. Plague Marine, yes, please. Anyway, let me know what you guys think of the Bandai Space Marine selling out so quick. Do you think this is a good thing with Games Workshop reaching out to Bandai? What do you think, Banjo? Yeah, you like the Bandai Space Marine? Yeah. Um, what army would you like to see? What colours would you like to see? Anyway, let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't, and once again, thanks for watching, I'll see you guys next video.